absolved of all terror charges after six months in jail. But life will never be the same for journalist Mutiur Rahman Siddiqui and his roommate Yusuf Naliband. The security agencies cast Muslims in the stereotypical way. And I think that that is the issue we should address. It's not just about me. It's about hundreds of thousands of other people who have been long languishing in prisons across India. In August, Muti and four roommates were arrested from their home for terror links. They were among 15 persons arrested at the time by a police who claimed they were part of a terror module to cause communal problems. अंदर उसके उसको दो दो ऐसे मारे इसे तो वो काम दो he's shivering. Their lawyers believe the cases against the others in jail are also flimsy. They have watered down and dropped the two sections which allowed for the imposition of a death sentence. So in that case, yes, the case is much much diluted when compared to what was initially made out. Police officers who were a part of this probe have earlier told us that they knew their case was not very strong, considering that they had prevented an attack and as such had no specific evidence of an attack being carried out. But even with that argument, this is not really a case that smacks of fair play and there are many other families waiting for justice. Though trial is yet to begin, the entire episode has raised questions on the credibility of investigative agencies. While the right thing for them would have been to say that uh, they were innocent and yes, we made a mistake would have been a much better way of doing it like the Australians did in the case of Hanif. They are trading it as a favor that they are releasing me after six months. They said we could have released you after six years. The police have given them a clean shit for now, but who will give them back the six months of their lives? With Smriti Advani in Bangalore, Deepa Balakrishnan.